Today we discuss and decide which country is most important to racing. Why? <laughs> well, it's the holidays, and if you're going home to visit friends and family, you know this is the season for fighting. <laughs> or is it just my friends and family? And picking one nation versus another is the best way to start a fight, so you're welcome. Besides, stuff just happened in the racing world that prompted me to think about this topic. Which country is the most important to racing? First, this Porsche won the 2012 25 Hours of Thunderhill, so go Germany. But there were more Mazda race cars on track than any other. 33 of them of the 70 that raced. Konnichiwa, Japan. But Porsche launched the 2014 Type 991 GT3 Cup car, the new version of what they call the most successful race car ever. Yay, Germany. And Autosport.com released their list of the top 50 Le Mans cars, so here comes France and the UK. And every F1 blog and website is starting their best of 2012 lists. And that's going to get covered with nationalistic opinion back and forth. And screw the India F1 race for winning the FIA Best Race Promoter Award. The USA race was best, 117,000 fans on race day. Going to what really was the middle of what used to be a cattle field in Texas. And on December 15th and 16th, it's time for the 2012 Race of Champions, including the Nations Cup action on Saturday. Nation versus Nation, which has only been won the last five years in a row by Schumacher and Vettel. Oh crap, back to Germany. And I haven't even gotten to what brands like Audi, BMW, Mercedes, and VW, the German brands, do for racing. And when it comes to motorsport, you know, Italy's not just sitting around holding their cannoli. We'd better be in this discussion too, right? I said, right? Which country is most important to racing? Now, I left that pretty broad. Not saying most wins, best drivers, most cars. Just most important. For example, if that country's contributions to racing were not there, how much would it matter? And when you post your answers, give a little bit of your reasoning, please. Let's cover the major country candidates in no particular ranking, just in the order that I think the comments will drive. So let's start first with Germany. And at its simplest level, there are just so many car companies from Germany that build race cars. And there's German racing history, too. And Le Mans history. Big results from Audi and Porsche. And even BMW won one Le Mans once. And Porsche with their newest big volume race car, the Type 991 version of the 911. More tire, more brakes, more safety, and paddle shifts, not PDK. It's still a six-speed dog ring box. And it's more Porsche. The wheels are Porsche design designed. Porsche's been doing that type of single-make race car for years. That's Mark Donahue's IROC 911 from 1974. IROC was like an early generation of race of champions, which, by the way, is December 15th and 16th. And next up for Porsche is the P1 car, the Le Mans car, and just announced it'll be a full inside the company factory racing team that'll campaign it, just like the old days. Now back to today, and add in VW when you talk about Germany and racing, and here we go with more contribution. And when you consider the VW group, the parent company, there's even more. As we discussed with Jos Capito, director of VW Motorsport, that interview, by the way, you can get to it in the links below. Well, now Germany gets credit for the likes of Lamborghini, Seat, Skoda, MAN Trucks, and Bentley, which gets us to the UK. And of course, the great brands that raced at Le Mans and in F1. UK teams and constructors like McLaren and Lola. And yes, Lola are refunded and they're going to be staying. The industry of racing, to be argued, grew up in the UK, in little sheds and shops. And who knows where, because the grassroots stuff created the foundation of racing teams and car building. And of course, the UK gave us Bernie. And by the way, why must every racing broadcast have an English accent to make it sound more official and credible? Is this a racing law or some legal dictate? Now, how about France? Well, the sanctioning organizations that make it all happen in racing are from the French side. And they have a claim to be the first Grand Prix race ever. The French, yes? They have Le Mans. And a great collection of Le Mans cars from brands that make shitty road cars. But Le Mans winning race cars. That'll get a lot of comments. And you know these brands, including Matra and, of course, that fancy Renault. How about Japan? Well, we would not have MotoGP and World Superbikes the way we do without the Japanese. And we wouldn't have tuning and drifting and time attack the way we do without Japan. The 2012 Tsukuba Super Battle just ran recently, and it was quite a show. 
And of course, with Japan, we wouldn't have Senna Legends without Honda. And I'm not sure which Japan Lama car I'm supposed to love more. This one? Or this Toyota? Or the current Toyota? And Japan gave us a ton of other special stuff, too numerous to show, but I might as well try. Subaru and WRC, Nissan back at Lama, the Toyota 7, a legend, Mitsubishi back in WRC. And it's time for Italy, Forza Italia. I'm just going to show you more pictures and you figure it out. Starting with our boy, Lancia. Look at that car. World famous 330p3 and p4. The more updated Ferraris, that had a flat 12 F1 motor running Le Mans. Alfa Romeo, their sports cars, Le Mans cars were hot. Their throwback old cars were even more famous. Back to Lancia, the famous Stratus and Rally. And of course, a little bit of Maserati. Not just brands that build cars, brands that make racing parts, Pirelli. And of course, the godfather of it all. You know. And finally, the US. So what was our contribution? What is our contribution to racing? NASCAR? Hopefully more than that. Maybe supercomputing. Everyone's using that tool these days. How about carbon fiber chassis? Yeah, McLaren designed the first carbon chassis in F1, but an American company, Hercules, built it. Or the American legacy called the Indy 500. Or legends like Mario Andretti. And the other world champion, Phil Hill. And great US race cars like the Corvette, they went to Le Mans. Or the Ford Mark II and Mark IVs, and yes, you UK wankers, the US gets credit for those two because they were the US designed and built Ford GTs. Or is the US famous in racing for its TV coverage and its entertainment coverage? That's the American film Grand Prix. You know, these days it seems many racing pros from Europe are saying it's our US sense of show versus sport that is the value the US is bringing to racing. Okay, time for you to weigh in in the comments below. In a typical shakedown style, this video is just a starting point of information. You know there's more facts and reasons to support your vote for whatever country you choose. Which country to you is the most important in racing? And I know all the Scandinavian fans are barking at the computers right now saying, hey, our country invented rally and the Scandinavian flick and great driving. And what about Barbados? Bushy Park forever. It's a raceway, not a conjugal call to action. Jesus.